have such great memories of the Coorong, fishing and camping with my dad when I was a kid. The biodiversity of this place is just unlike anywhere else in Australia. And if you haven't been down here in a while, I've discovered a brand new tour that'll give you a great taste of just how special this place really is. Brenton Carl was also enchanted by the Coorong as a young lad, and he's now made it his nine to five job. He started up his business, Canoe the Coorong, to take people on a one day, all inclusive tour of this wonderful waterway. Cool. Jump on in there, mate. Oh. Pass you a paddle. That's even around the right way. Thank you, sir. No worries. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Let's get you out there. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> go up here and explore the dunes. A nature lover and recent uni graduate, Brenton's aim is to give everyone a chance to witness the magic of the Coorong firsthand. I kind of fell in love with the Coorong when I was a bit younger, when I was a mad keen fisherman. Uh, and so just the fish species down here is just sensational. Yeah, but right. I did a degree in ecotourism. Uh -huh. And then I started to realise just how beautiful and pristine this area is and just how precious it is to... Um, to all of Australians, but it's also internationally recognised as a Ramsar wetland of international significance. The Murray Mouth itself really is a sight to be seen. Gone are the dredges, fresh water now freely flowing out to sea after its almost 3,000 kilometre journey down the mighty Murray. The tour involves some leisurely paddling with numerous stops along the way to see the sights. Brenton's aim is to deliver a relaxed, informative and fun foodie kind of day. Are you feeling a bit peckish? I am. Because I'm going to cook you up some of our local bush suck here, some cockles and some kurong mullet. Wait. Grab that kayak before it drifts off. <laughs> That's it, pull him up a bit. <laughs> and yeah, then we're going to cook up some mulloway, some kurong mullet and some cockles. Beautiful. Just That's here? Just here. But first, a bit of bush grazing. What I'm going to show you up here is mud trees, also known as munterberries. Uh -huh. Now these guys are a really tasty little morsel, but they're starting to make a bit of an um, impact on the native food cuisine. Oh, yeah. Now they're making munchery jams, munchery chutneys, all sorts of things at the moment, and they're really, really tasty. So have a bit of a taste of one of those. Do I have to peel it or anything? No, just eat the whole thing, right. just straight in. What do you think? Tastes like crispy strawberry mm. with like a, like a figgy sort of taste. It's I quite often hear crispy apple too. Like. They're really nice, aren't they? Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Right, let's move on. Sounds good to me. All right, so these are the gore cockles. You got yeah. a nice little one there. I'm going to try that one because you're about to eat one raw. Oh, nice! So if you've got really strong muscles, you can actually get your thumb in there. Which I can't today. Or you can smash two together. Right. And when you crack one up, you can actually get that shell open. Ah. And then you can try one of our raw gore cockles. Now they are better cooked, and I'm going to cook some up for us in a minute. Right. There you go. That's okay. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. Another one. <laughs> you want another one? <laughs> On second thoughts, maybe I'll hold off for the cockle cook-up back at the kayaks. I've never thought of um, cockles as anything other than bait. You know, yeah, what? they're actually a tasty little morsel. So all I've done is just put them straight in a hot pan. Mm -hmm. uh, what'll happen is when they open up a little bit, they'll let some liquid out and they just start stewing in their own juices. Mm. Add a little bit of dill, a little bit of lemon pepper just to enhance that flavour. Beautiful. So you can see that we've got a few starting to open up now already. Yep. And so we grab those ones out and then let you have a bit of a taste. So just yeah. grab them by the shell, just eat them straight out there. Straight out Tell of there. Tell me what yeah. you think. Oh, yum. They're much better cooked. I was going to say, are they better cooked? <laughs> <laughs> much better cooked. Oh, that's really tasty. They're actually good, aren't they? Cockles for entree and fresh local Coorong mullet and mulloway fish to follow. How good is that? There you go, Pete. Dig in and enjoy. Nice one. So if you've never got some sand between your toes down here, get in contact with Brenton at Canoe the Coorong. Even if you've never kayaked before, you'll find it's an easy skill to pick up. Believe me, if I can do it, anyone can. In just one day, you'll discover many different reasons to fall in love with the Coorong.